they may be more informational than inspirational. Now, you know, this Saturday, May the 2nd, we're going to have sealed, consecrated bread and cup at the front door of the church. So that if you're in the San Antonio area, please come by the church, pick yours up and hold on to it until we celebrate the Lord's Supper this Sunday, May the 3rd at 9. Now, if you don't live here or you can't get out, please join us just by Facebook. Now, our Bishop Robert Snazy spoke to the pastors via Zoom this past uh, week, and our District Superintendent Greg Hackett took notes, and part of what I'm going to say comes from them as well. Basically, the bishop suggested cautiousness and what he called relaunching whenever that time might come. He quoted John Wesley three rules, which was the first one, do no harm. He still encouraged online worship for several more weeks. He said this is not a mandate, but his recommendation. He said we need to be patient and ride this one out a bit longer. Now here are some of the suggestions. First, we pastors need to continue to love and shepherd our flock. That might mean waiting longer before we open the doors to socially distance ourselves with masks six feet apart in worship. But now is the time for laity and pastors to begin to look at that prayerfully and plan ahead. I look forward to calls and emails about that. Second, as worship leader, I cannot please everyone when it comes to waiting. Sometimes the most loving word that I can say is no. We miss each other being in the house of the Lord, but we must make sure that not only the building and its contents are sanitized, but also that no one breaks the rules of mask and social distancing. One case of spreading this virus would be devastating. Third, the post-pandemic period will not be just like it was in the past. Until there's a vaccine, nothing will go back to normal. So let's get used to the new normal and see what we can learn from this experience. One thing I've learned is how much I miss you. Another is how fragile life is and the sanctity of life. So let's continue to call and send cards and emails and stay in touch with each other until we can get back together in the flesh. But well, maybe not too close. Jesus said in Matthew, the 22nd chapter, beginning with the 37th verse, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and all your strength. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. That's what we're just aching to do, and while we can't do it physically, we certainly can do it spiritually. So let's continue to love God and love one another. Let's pray. Lord, how I miss my people and our being in church together to worship you and fellowship together. If absence makes the heart grow fonder, then it's getting harder and harder each day. I realize the only thing that could be worse would be if one of my people got sick. Please protect us and bring us back together again to worship and praise you. In the name of Jesus, we pray as he taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to the temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. If you don't remember anything else, please remember this. Do no harm. Just love God and love one another. God bless you. Amen.